Hey there gang, this is Eric Andreas with Your Guitar Sage and today I'm going to teach you how to play Jolene by Dolly Parton, also more recently done by Jack White or maybe even the White Stripes. You can let me know who, which one did that, either the band or just Jack White, but nonetheless, um, and I love both of these artists. So, uh, but this is the version I'm going to be doing, doing today is the version I grew up with and it's the Dolly Parton version. And um, what I'm going to do is probably slaughter the lyrics, but this is a guitar lesson, not a lyrics lesson. So, um, and it's not quite in my key. But I'm going to be playing it, and then I'm going to break it down and show you what I'm doing with left and right hand techniques. Okay? So it's going to go something like this: two, three, four. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Because you can Jolene, 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 Jolene Please don't take them just because you Okay, I'm going to stop right there because I just played through a chorus and a verse and basically that's the whole tune. Um, I just need to show you what chords I'm playing, how I'm doing it both left and right technique, but that's the whole tune there, so no need to keep on going. Okay, so obviously I'm capoed at the fourth fret today because this is actually in the key of D flat or C sharp minor. Right? We're vamping a lot on that. So let's talk about the chords first, left hand technique, and then we'll talk about right hand technique. So the chords are, the only thing you need to know is A minor, C, and G. These are basic open chords that every guitar player should know. If you don't know these already and you need help with them, go to yourguitarsage.com and download the free instructional ebook, guitar instructional ebook that I have there that has these chords in there and it will um, help you learn, sit along with me, and I can teach you wherever you're at. Um, hundreds and hundreds of songs that I have here on YouTube. Okay, and so, um, yes, so the first chord is an A minor. So starting from the top, we got A minor, to, uh, let's see, Jolene, A minor, C, G, A minor, G, A minor, Joe A minor C G Joe A minor G just because you A minor then the verse would be A minor C G A minor G A minor and that's it then you would repeat that again okay so I'm counting like one, two, three, four, 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 one. It starts over again, right? So um, and let me count through the chorus for you. Uh, a minor. One, two, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so um, in this tune, we're for the most part, it's four. I think we're dropping to, to um, a measure of two sometimes in there. But nonetheless, you know this song, so I just need to show you these basic chords. You'll hear it. Okay? All right, now let's talk about right hand technique. I'm doing quite a bit of uh, dirty picking here, what we call dirty, which is like... Right, it sounds really nice and percussive and makes you want to dance, right? So, 
Let's talk about this. <laughs> um, so there's a, a little bit of left and right hand technique that I'm doing here. If you need help with this left hand technique, which I call muting, which most people call muting or choking, um, then here on YouTube, type in your guitar sage muting, and I'll give you both left and right hand techniques. But, but the short of it is, um, you're, 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 you're gonna be muffling the strings. <laughs> And really technically for this tune you could do all right hand muffling but I'll show you the left hand technique too. What you do is in between when you don't want the chord to sound you grab the strings to get that percussive sound. But most of the percussion I'm doing here is with the right hand. Now I'm doing this pump here. this. Just gives a really cool sound and the lick that's in that song almost sounds like that so um, that's why I'm doing that. So most of the actions happen in here and it looks a lot more complex than it actually is. You totally can get this okay. Basically what we're doing is we're doing 16th notes so one again a two again a three again a four again a one again a two again a three and a four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and that's all I'm doing. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I mean, same as if you had a song that was um, that was eighth notes, like one and two and three and four and one and two. And, but we're playing this much faster, so we're doing one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. I'm also accenting one, two, and four. One, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So on two and four, accent them harder, bigger, louder, harder on the strings, okay? Take your time with this. If you're not familiar with this technique, it's going to take you a little while, but you will get it. It just has to do with practice. It has nothing to do with skill or talent. That's a myth. Okay, so one and two and three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a that's the thing you want to practice. You want to practice it by just muting at first if you have any issues with strumming. Oh, if you need help with strumming, I have a stellar, awesome video course series that's free and can be found at unstoppableguitarsystem.com, which the, that link is below in the description of this video. Okay? So, and if you need any help personally with guitar, hit me up on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash yourguitarsage, or facebook.com slash yourguitarsage, and I'll answer your questions there. All right? This is Eric Andreas with Your Guitar Sage. Please spay and neuter your kitties and dogs. Practice your guitar. Love your neighbor. Fight the man. Question authority. See ya. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene